Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. We've got a brilliant show lined up for you today because Heimer are here and they are taking over the show. And we're going to learn all about why Heimer class themselves as a high quality tooling solutions provider. Now I'm on the sofa with Joe. However, from Heimer, we have Javier and Phil. Lovely to have your company, guys. Thanks for having us on. Welcome, guys. Yeah. Now you had a great show at Emo, I believe. And I'm sure our viewers have been watching lots about Emo because we had the takeover show from Emo. However, what we want to do is learn more about Hyma today. So can you give us an overview of you as a brand, as a company? Of course. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we're a German company. Uh, Hyma produce everything in Germany. We have two manufacturing sites. One is in the south of Germany, in Igenhausen, where we produce 2,000 tool holders per day, three shifts, 24 hours, six days a week. And then we produce as well shrinking machine, balancing machines, and also our tools. Also in the north of Germany, we have Bielefeld, where we produce our presetters, the higher microset. So this is Heimer, we're 700 people all over the world in 15 subsidiaries, and we have one very successful here in the UK, Heimer UK. Very successful. And I know your business has changed quite a lot. I also want to mention that later on, we're going to discuss what you're going to be doing at the end of the year, which really benefits a lot of our customers with a, a tour, haven't you? But we're going to come on to that later. What I want to know about is where do you see yourselves in the market? Where do you fit? I think as a, Heimer, as a, as a company, we are very, very strong in the aerospace business. Traditionally, that's always been a good area for us but we move more into the general engineering sections, into automotive, uh, to oil and gas as well. And it's a good fit with our products because customers are looking now for, for a very high quality in terms of their tool holding mm -hmm. um, to replicate the, the quality that they need to achieve on their work pieces. Yeah, I've seen a big shift actually. And in, in, you know, in the last two to three years, people are investing in this type of technology, whereas three years ago, people were still buying cheaper tooling in truth. Yeah. You buy £300,000 machine tool or maybe not a £60,000 machine tool, yeah. but you're only as strong as your weakest point and if you've got weak tool holders and weak tooling, that is indeed your weakest point, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. We see great investment in machine tools, great investment in cutting tools, and often the interface between the two, which is the tool holder, is the forgotten link in the chain. And really to only truly deliver what the machine is capable of, then we need to make sure we have the highest quality. Talking about this, Javier, you said you're a global company, but three years ago, you've really changed a lot in the UK, haven't you? Bringing it back down to the UK, what's changed? We um, traditionally came in for many years through, through distribution partners into the UK. And the decision was taken by the Heimer family to set up a subsidiary um, in this country. And to start with, it was only me uh, <laughs> for the first six months. Uh, we established the office, uh, got uh, a lady in the office for, for sales processing, and now we have a team of eight within three years. So we have uh, uh, six guys permanently on the road. Uh, one of the guys is an applications engineer who supports the technical installations of the balancing machines, the presetting machines. Um, and I think we've probably reached a point now where we, we're comfortable with what we have and uh, we look to continue to grow the business from there. Speaking of quality, SafeLock, it's a product I love. I've seen lots of it, but maybe some of the viewers haven't, so tell us more. Well, it's a funny story about SafeLock. It all comes from an IMTS in Chicago 10 years ago. One of our main customers, a very well-known plane manufacturer uh, in the States, wanted to make a change in their production and the way they manufacture products. They were using tool holders, uh, mostly well-done and whistle notch, and they were saying, look, uh, we have a problem in productivity, we have a lot of vibrations, the holders are not balanced, so we want to make a change and we would like to open up a contest with eight, ten brands and if Heimer wants to participate, you're more than welcome, we will send you the specs and you can send the product and we'll make a test. Uh, so we did, we sent the product, we sent our shrinking tool holders, power geometries, fantastic holders, they came back to us three months later and said, look, the product is fantastic, we increased our productivity, the finishing is much better, but, and there is always a but, we cannot implement it because even though Heimer was having the highest clamping force, there was still some issues with pullout. Well, this was a very good news for us to hear. I mean, a very big contest with the main quality brands in the market in one of our main customers. And finally, because of this small pullout in some applications, we couldn't implement Heimer at the customer. 
So Mr. Heimer came back from Chicago thinking, well, I mean, I don't really understand why a customer has to decide precision or safety. This doesn't make any sense. So this is how we made the SafeLock product in which we keep the same precision of a shrinking tool holder, a mechanical tool holder with a small pin inside. So you have one full integral tool holder, fully balanced, but with this pin inside and the helix on the cutting tool, you cannot have any pullout. So now you don't have to decide between safety or precision. You get a fully precise tool holder and the safety is guaranteed. That's brilliant. It the, is. I guess the only downside to that maybe is you've got to buy your end mills. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, we in Heimer, we always try to be fair and open to the market. Uh, we know and we're very sure the safe lock system is the present and the future of the industry. Um, we want to make sure that the customer has access to the technology. So uh, we are a big global company. We're present all over the world. But still, you know, we cannot reach every single customer out there. So we license the main high quality uh, cutting tool manufacturers from Europe, from America and from Asia. And today, give or take 15 brands, multinationals are using the SafeLock system for promoting the technology. They have this SafeLock technology as a standard on their catalog. And we're very fair to the market. We promote the technology, but then the customer has to take the decision. They will buy it from their provider. We're more than happy to help. We're more than happy to provide the tool, but it, does, it doesn't have to be Heimer. It can be anything else what the customer decides. Can I ask, um, you know, you talk about high quality. That may or may not, in a sense, put some people off because it's high quality. They think, oh, well, is it really expensive? How do you weigh that up? How can you prove, okay, it is high quality, but if you are paying a bit more, what are the benefits? What are you getting? What's the end user, the customer, ultimately getting? Sure. Uh, well, we always say we have to think in price performance. I mean, just talking about pricing doesn't make much sense. We are here in the UK for showing for a very good pricing, we can give an outstanding performance. Mm -hmm. In the tool holding in here, we wanted to make sure that the customer understands what is a high quality holder. And this is out of three factors. First of all is rigidity. You can see the tool holders over here. We only use cutaway models for showing them, for show to the customer how we make all the fine machining, the fine grinding of all the functional surfaces of the tool holder. So with this we can make sure that everything, every part of the tool holder in contact with the spindle or with the cutting tool is fine machine. So this is, make a, this is making a very rigid tool holder, a very rigid tool, which is connecting perfectly a great machine with a great tool. Mm. So this is first of all rigidity, then balancing. We do fine balance every single tool holder which we make. It's not balanced by design, it's fine balancing. We have three automatic balancing machines and all 2,000 tool holders, which we produce per day, we balance them. And this is very important, mm. 2,000 a day. Wow. So we actually fine balance every single one of them. And the curious thing about this, when our tool holders finish the manufacturing process before being balanced, they are balanced by design, meaning they are symmetric. But when we check them, 99% of them are out of balance. This means balance by design is nothing. A tool holder has to be fine balance for having a great performance, for having a good precision, and especially as well for keeping the guarantee of a very expensive machine tool, mm -hmm. because all the machine tool builders put in the instruction manual, if you want to keep the guarantee, then you have to have balanced tool holders. Mm -hmm. And the last one will be run out accuracy. So we produce all our tool holders in such a way that the runout accuracy is always better than three microns in mm. three times D. So when we say quality, and I fully take your point, Lindsay, mm -hmm. sometimes people say, well, you know, quality means expensive. No, quality means an outstanding product, and we are here to show why a quality product can be called quality product, where yeah. is the quality coming from. Mm. So yeah. it's more of an investment than a purchase. You know, you, you're purchasing a little, a purchasing the price is a little bit more upfront, but you're yeah. going to get that back and a lot more in productivity, increased tool life and longevity. Speed. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Just on the middle, we talked about safe flop, but I know you've got these kits here. This is a fairly new product, isn't it? So what, what's it about, Phil? Yeah, this is um, actually our universal um, end mill program. <clears throat> so we have uh, this small kit here with six to 16 millimeter diameter, um, uh, four flute, variable helix, variable pitch. 
it works in a really across a broad range of materials from steels to stainless, aluminium, titanium. Um, although it's universal, it's a very, very high performance. We're able to run at very high data and uh, achieve really positive results. When you say universal, what we're we talking? Ramping, profiling? Yeah, I mean, this tool in steel is capable of ramping at 30 degrees. In stainless steel, 10 degrees, which I think is quite exceptional. Mm -hmm. We can also drill with the same tool, trachoidal, full slot milling, um, circular um, pocketing as well. Mm -hmm. All of this, no problem at all. And is that a demo kit or is that, is that available for sale? No, these, these are sales kits. We introduced them as a promotional kit. Um, to the market for like £149 wow. just as a, as a starter. Um, we also do a four-piece kit where we remove the 16mm if, if the customer doesn't really need that. Mm -hmm. And I think it uh, comes in a nice, uh, nice box and, and yeah, it's, it's been well received in the market. A lot of customers have taken it mm -hmm. on. Do you want one, Lindsay? Um, yes, I'll have two. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah sorted. Yeah, just a verbal order number? Or? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's right. yeah. 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 Like live on air as yeah. well. Um, now, Geo is waiting over in Technical Corner for you, but um, really, really exciting is something that's going to be happening later on this year. Yeah. We are going to talk about it later, but it's a tour that you're doing where you're going out to the customer or anyone who's interested, and it's basically they can see everything that you have got to offer or pretty much everything on their doorstep. Yeah. We will go into it a little bit mm. later on. However, let's head over to Technical Corner because Geo is waiting for you. Technical Corner. Rick, at Technical Corner here today with Haima, with Javier. Thank you, Javier, for being with us today Thank in you. Technical Corner. I today want to focus really on quality. Um, this is one of your USPs that you use on your website, but also I want to touch on an educational perspective and from a technical perspective on all of your products. And could you start with this holder here, please? Well, everything is about quality, as we've been mentioning before. And as we said, we usually cut the tool holder for showing what is the importance of a quality holder and why this is actually a quality tool holder. So first of all, we go to rigidity. As you can see over here, all the functional surfaces from the outside and from the inside and also on the bore, everything which is in contact with the spindle or with the tool is fine machine, is fine ground. So with this, we guarantee the rigidity of the holder, which is very important. After all, you buy a great machine tool and you want to make sure that the whole performance, the whole power goes to the piece. So with this, with all these functional surfaces perfectly ground, you can make sure that from the machine and up to the tool, you can maximize your performance. You don't have any missing link in between. So am I right in saying that through the quality of this holder, the tool holder actively becomes one with the spindle of the machine, Absolutely, therefore that's the giving longevity to the machine tool. Exactly, that's, that's fully the idea. We don't want here a link which is not, uh, let's say, adjusting perfectly to the machine. It's everything about becoming one, that's rigidity. We want the tool holder to become one with the machine and with the tool. We want the connection from the machine to the piece to become just one. The second feature over here will be the run-out accuracy and our manufacturing process and the precision which we guarantee is very difficult to achieve. In all Heimer tool holders, we can make sure that we have a run out accuracy of three microns in three times D. And this in every single tool holder maintained in time. So with this, we don't just have a very rigid tool holder in the machine, we also guarantee the precision in the workpiece. And the third feature will be balancing and fine balancing. This we can see over here in these two small drills. So we produce, as we mentioned before, 2,000 tool holders per day. And we fine balance every single one of them in an automatic balancing machine. It takes us 30 to 40 seconds, but we check the tool holder and we remove the mass. So when you see these drills over here, you saw that this tool holder was fine balanced in our production. Every single tool holder going out from our production in Germany is rechecked and fine balanced in 100% of the cases. Now this is a very important uh, feature really that I wanted to touch on was balancing. I think here in the UK, um, we're quite guilty of not balancing our tooling. Um, and I'd like you to explain really, well, well, I've got a few questions on the balancing. One, um, how often can you rebalance the same tool? And also you touched on shrink fit. Um, is, is that's what giving you the accuracy of the actual tool in the holder by shrink fitting. So if you could touch on 
the balancing and why it's so important and do tools need to be balanced on an entry level machine or a high end machine or for high volume, low volume, small shops, high shop, big well, let, shop? Let's, let's put it this way, uh, we all balance the wheels of our cars, every single one of us at least once per year. If you don't, you will have a huge vibration inside of the car. Now your car won't go more than 1000 RPM unless you want to go to jail because you, don't go <laughs> <laughs> you cannot go so quick that on the road. So here we're using our holders in machines which are 40,000 RPM or also 5,000 RPM. And many customers, you're right, they still they don't balance, they don't check the holders. Now our balancing machine is first of all our inspection machine. We provide a fully balanced holder, uh, but we put a end mill, an extension inside, and then we don't know if the whole thing, if the whole tool is still balanced. So we can recheck it in the balancing machine and if it's not balanced, we can rebalance. But we don't have to drill anymore, it will be possible, but it will take a while. Now we have in here some features which are very nice and come in handy, which are for instance this screw holes over here for weighted screws. The machine will tell you which screw you will have to put over here for adding mass and like this you can correct the unbalance. So you've got weighted screws or you can drill little holes around the circumference of the tool holder so you can add or remove material exactly. from the tool holder to balance We the tool. even have also some rings so you can use the screws, you can use rings, you can remove mass, you can make whatever you wish but we are the specialist in balancing technology. Here in the UK many customers use right now balancing machines and is a product which has been sold very well in the last years. Now we can guarantee that we can use this machine for any single operation the customer needs, but first of all, the balancing machine is an inspection machine. <laughs> we will inspect if the holder is balanced or not. Then we can make the correction, but first of all, it's the inspection. So let's just clarify, once you've, you've balanced your tool correctly, the gains from this are longevity of the tool, longevity of the machine, faster feeds and speeds, so the gains are across the board really, utilising the machine to its full capabilities, higher feed speed. Absolutely, I mean we usually make a return on investment study for the customer. We take their tool, we see how is it running and then we can check how is the performance that he can gain on the machine. So with this we will have gains on the spindle, it won't break, on the tool it won't break and on productivity we can cut faster. Perfect. Now touching back onto the shrink, I've noticed this waveform around the diameter can you, what's that for? Well, this is an optical help to the operator. So we have many different tool holders for many different applications. So for a finishing operation, we'll have a standard tool holder. For a roughing operation, we will have power, we will have heavy duty. So in here, we use an optical help to the operator. Uh, when they are selecting a tool holder in the tool room, they will say, well, this has a wave on it. This will mean we are dampening with this tool holder the vibrations. So with this we're helping the customer and using power geometry or power mini geometry as we have over here, we can still have a long reach but we dampen the vibrations. The vibration will stay on the body of the tool holder, they won't go to the machine, they won't go to the spindle or to the workpiece. So with this we can save one full application. We can go from roughing directly to finishing and we don't have to make any correction because of the vibrations. So one tool to do a roughing and, and finishing off essentially. Absolutely. And um, Just one more question before I move on to this tool with the, the shrinking. Um, how many times can you shrink well, with we, the same tool? We use a special raw material for this with a tiring point over 400 degrees Celsius. So this question was coming very often from many customers. We actually checked in our production. We made over 10,000 changes of a shrink fit with a tool in and out, the tool holder was as fine as it was at the beginning. Okay. So using our tool holder with our shrinking machine, which has a very good electronic, we can guarantee a very long life if you have a good operator pretty much forever. <laughs> no, brilliant. And, and I just want to move on to the final tool now. It, it's obvious to me that all these tool holders are application specific. Um, and obviously we've got a nice extension on this one. If we were using a long end mill, obviously we get a lot of vibration, chatter, etc. So this is eliminating the chatter by putting a small end mill and shrink fitting it in the end. Is that correct? Exactly. I mean, what we're trying here is to propose to the customer a standard solution with a power geometry for dampening the vibrations plus a mini geometry on top. So for aerospace, diamond mold applications, when you have to go deep, but still, you don't want to have vibrations and you want to dampen them, we can actually put two geometries in one and you have one full tool holder, you don't have anything in between, 
with full rigidity. It's one piece, isn't it? It is. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Technical Corner. I'm now joined by Phil from Heimer, Managing Director in the UK. Um, Phil, um, just speaking about the tool holders, um, why have you brought and introduced cutting tools to the UK as well? It's such a competitive market. Well, we've actually been making end mills for many years in our company for our own production. And really, we weren't satisfied with what was available in the market. So we started our own production. We made a very nice quality, very good tool life. So we decided to, to decide to sell them in the market. And we have some uh, unique features with our tools, which um, we believe benefits the customer and benefits the performance, um, which I can really just uh, show you with this uh, power mill tool that we have here. I mean, this one is equipped with our safe lock feature on, so an anti-pullout uh, system. But each of these end mills has a very special geometry, very special coating. We go between two flutes and eight flutes, and every one of our end mills is balanced to less than one gram millimeter. And it's absolutely critical in the machining process that we have the full balance of the tool. So um, the end mills and the cutting tools that you've brought in to the UK market, they're not just used for one application, they can be used for multiple applications, slotting, ramping, trichoidal milling, we'll of touch course. on trichoidal milling in a minute. Yeah. And the holders, um, the safe lock holder that we've got here, um, it's like a corkscrew effect effectively. You've got a spiral flute on the back end on the shank of the end mill, yeah. but also in the internal feature of the holder. Yeah. Can you just show us how that works? Of course, Phil? yeah. So inside here we have um, a, a, a pin, yeah. which engages with the helix of the shank. Yeah. So as we insert this from the shrinking process, you can see this engages with the pin. Right. And then we have no chance that the tool can come out. Now, we say it's like a safety belt for your cutting tools. You wear a safety belt in your car, or seat belt. 99% um, of the time, you never need it. But the one time that you do, it's there to protect you. And SafeLock really works in the same way. We're not saying that every time a tool can pull out, but it's a possibility. And nowadays, people look to run with uh, lights out, so they need to be secure in the knowledge that the tools are going to stay within the tool holders during that process. Right, so this is totally unique technology to Hymer. Um, yeah. And um, obviously I can see how it can't pull out. Um, and you can hit the component with faster feeders and speeds yeah. more aggressively. Yeah. Um, but doesn't this want to then pull the component out of the work holding? <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose that there's always that potential, but if you've got very good high quality vices, uh, that uh, talk to the, the correct figures, then that shouldn't happen either. So again, it illustrates how every feature of the process need to be um, set up correctly. Completely, And it's yeah. all, all getting the right process. Phil, touching on trichoidal milling a little bit more, yeah. um, it's, it's a process that a lot of people are not aware of and the benefits of trichoidal milling, the speed, etc. Yeah. Um, can you touch on this a little bit more and, and the process involved in trichoidal milling and how it utilises the side of the flute rather than cutting on the bottom of the yeah. cutter and also why the holders play an integral part to trichoidal milling yeah. and, and, and also obviously the, the unique feature on the shank of the end mill. Okay, well, if, you, if we rewind a little bit, 20 years, how we used to mill was three millimetres deep, full slotting. That's how everybody machined. And really at three millimetres deep, there is no helical effect on the tool. So the pullout condition was never really considered. And now we've changed and the modern software CAD CAM companies are using, now engaging the full flute and making smaller radial step overs. This evens out the wear on the tool, reduces the cut pressure, but it also has an effect that it wants to pull the tool out of the holder. And this is really where the safe lock can come in in these trichoidal aggressive milling processes. So effectively better productivity, again, longevity, and, and ultimately return of investment and more profit. Yeah, it's all about metal removal rates, and, and that's where Tricoid always really winning. Any questions, please contact Hymer. Wow, I mean, no wonder you clash yourselves as a high quality solutions provider. However, moving on, we were quite shocked to find out now Hymer are now providing to the industry presetters. Is that right? That's correct, yeah. yeah. Since this year, we bought a well established company in Germany, the company Microset, which actually is older than the company Hymer itself. We are celebrating this year the 40th anniversary of the company Hymer, but actually, Microset has been on the market for almost 50 years providing high quality presettings and with this we feel we completed a cycle 
we can provide now a full solution. We cannot just give tool, tool holding, shrinking, balancing, measuring instruments. Mm -hmm. We can also provide to the customer a great technology in presetting, making that the customer doesn't have to open up the machine or stop the machine from measuring the tool in the machine, but taking it out and save a lot of time, which is mm. a lot of money with mm. a great technology. And with this, we can provide everything which the mm. customer needs around the machine tool. It's a good idea. You kind of uh, complete in the circle almost, aren't mm. you? So you're not selling machine tools, at least yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not selling machine tools, but pretty much everything else. Yeah, that's the idea, to provide a full solution. We don't want just to sell a product, even if it's a quality product. We want to give a solution to the customer. And also, we want to give the customer peace of mind. Our end users know that they speak yes with HIMA in many different fields, tools, tool holding, special machines. But if they have to speak with us, if they want to make an investment, if they want to keep on exploring how to increase the productivity, everything comes out of one hand, everything made in Germany, everything made by HIMA. Wow, okay, we're gonna move on, but I think you've kind of answered a question which is quite nice because you're really trying to future-proof mm -hmm. um, you know, for your customers providing that solution. Right, Mac, next year, yeah. we are kind of edging towards the end of 2017, and I know you've got an exciting tour, we'll come on to that, but Mac, you're going to be there, what have you got planned? Yeah, we have a 60 square meter booth uh, booked for the Mac exhibition, so we'll be showcasing the new microset presetters, okay. of course. Um, uh, existing shrink technology. We've moved a little bit now in towards the Industry 4.0 where we're using um, a barcode technology now onto the tool holders to select the correct parameters for shrinking. Uh, a cutting tool program obviously and our tool holders will be part of that exhibition. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Mac but we've just had Emo and your standard Emo is incredible. You had so much technology didn't you? Yeah, well it was great to see you Joe as well <laughs> in the Emo show. It was a great show, very interesting. Uh, we had almost a 400 square meters booth, uh, four sides open, it was looking fantastic. But as you mentioned Joe, the most important thing was all the new technology over there. I mean we showcase every single year four to five new products. This year was like 15 or 20 machines focused in the industry 4.0, all about connectivity on the machines, a new line in cutting tools, a new line in Collet for turning machines. Mm -hmm. So everything was about technology and industry 4.0. And most importantly, and it's something which I really like to see, it was many people from the UK and Ireland coming over, looking for technology, looking to invest. Mm -hmm. And we could close many businesses with customers from here, from the UK mm -hmm. and Ireland. It was fantastic to see that the UK industry and the Irish mm -hmm. industry are still looking to invest and invest in productivity. Yeah. They came to see Phil, you see. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course yeah. but, but One thing I want to mention, and I know we're running out of time, but it's uh, your tool room solution. That, that was stunning, and I'm sure we can show footage on, on the screen, but it was stunning, so well done. Thank you very much. Actually, this tool room solution is based in our manufacturing facility in Germany. As I told you, Joe, on the emo, we have just yes, one tool room with one person changing tools from the beginning to the end for 120 CNC machine. Yes, one person in one tool room. So everything is about productivity, not just on the product, also about the organization. So it was really mm. stunning. You practice what you preach. Mm. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm. Javier, you mentioned new lines of um, your tooling and everything, and this is where I want to come on to something very exciting. Mm -hmm. Phil, um, you have a great event that I've never heard anyone do. You know, it's no, um, you know, you've got Mac, you've got Emo, but you're actually bringing your products, your new product mm -hmm. range to the customer. Yeah. And technically, in a way, you're saving them money because they're not having to go out and spend time coming you know, out to a show. Yeah. What are you doing? This is exciting. We have um, a demo van which comes over from Germany. It's going to be with us from November for three months. Um, and essentially, we're taking our showroom to the customer. Mm -hmm. So they can inside see the microset presetters. Uh, we can balance their tool assemblies for them. We can do show the shrinking and, of course, all our tool holders. For us, it's a case of, of getting uh, the equipment in front of the decision makers, the mm -hmm. people who really can, can uh, sign off for CapEx for this sort of stuff. Um, and customers don't have to spend the time to come to us. We can plug the machine into the three phase and within five minutes we're up and running and we can showcase exactly what we have to offer. Is, is there any cost? There's no cost to the customer. We'll balance the tools for free and um, they can see the difference between running a balanced assembly and a non-balanced assembly in their production. So you, don't, you don't have to buy anything either? 
Uh, well, <laughs> would be it's nice. Like, well, yeah. Yeah, it's like my a bit too being, good to be true. Yeah, yeah. Point, yeah that's, what, that's what I'm saying. My yeah. point being is um, time is an expensive commodity. Of course. If I, if I we're here in Northampton, if I don't want to go to uh, Burnley to see it, you'll come and see me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, no brainer. Yeah. Mm. So we'll plan the tour. We're looking for uh, existing customers and, of course, new customers. If anybody wants to see the equipment, um, then we can just book an appointment and we'll turn up and, and, and showcase. It literally can be anything between 15 minutes or for as long as you need it. So this is a good thing for any MD that's watching. Yeah. Get in touch with yourselves, but also, you know, if you've got any Hymer tools or anything like that, they also, it's good for them to see what the new technologies that Absolutely you've got providing is. for yeah. them. Yeah. Brilliant, isn't it? It's so good. Yeah. Any deals? Yeah, we, uh, we run uh, at the moment an autumn promotion. So we have some uh, shrinking machines, balancing machines and presetters uh, with promotional prices. For instance, the shrinking machines come with 10 tool, 10 tool holders free of charge. Um, the uh, balancing machines are coming with one free adapter. And there's a, a very special price on those and that will run really towards the end of the year. Right. Mm. Fab. Thanks, guys. Thank Great you. Show. Thank you. Now, Welcome. before you go, you can't you can't go because yet. What's your favourite drink? Be honest, it's fine. Coffee. Coffee. Beer. Beer, right? <laughs> Beer doesn't go brilliantly with this, but you can still have a coffee. Uh, so. Thank you very much. The sweet. So, thank you very you much. So. Thank, thank you. you for joining us here. Thank you. We, we've actually got something for you, Lindsay, as well. Oh, because for uh, me, not yeah, it's just... appropriate actually for your little girl. That this is oh! the the world famous uh, Heimer oh, my... Yodel Bear. So. <laughs> No, please uh, let her have it and uh, came all the way from Germany actually. What do I do? If you pull the cord out oh. and um... oh, it sings. It does. <laughs> this is... <laughs> That's brilliant. We're going to leave you on that one. <laughs> this is brilliant. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for Thank you for having us. Thank you for watching this week's Swarf and Chips. I certainly enjoyed it. Now, next week, we have a big update regarding Mac in 2018, so make sure you're watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to watch any previous episodes, click on the links here. As we always say, keep those spindles turning. And I think I'm going to leave you with this. <laughs>